Hey everyone, it's Never Ending Chaos here, back with more cells in the last part. We took down King, the Infernal Dinosaur King Dodongo in the Dodongo Cavern, and we got another piece of heart. Heart container. In this episode, we're gonna go up here towards the mountain, and... We're gonna go see the Great Fairy. But there's a few things we can do now that we have bombs. First off, being we can blow up all these rocks. Well... I'm gonna blow up about three rocks. And my frame rate is still going slow, but I really don't care. Well, I do care, so eh. Not too bad. Ow. I took damage from that. Go figure. And And that didn't blow up the rock. Fuck. Okay, I'll try it again with less fail. It went through the rock, but okay. And I didn't jump, but there's a red ruby up there, but we have no use for it. Sad. Um, try jumping this time. Thank you. Go down there, there's um, a cow, and the, the, if you blow up that rock, that leads, makes a hole appear, and there's a cow. You can hear the sound of that appear, so... So, if you look up, there's the mountain. We gotta climb that. But... Oh no! The volcano suddenly erupts, and we take damage. Oh. Holy lag! Shit, it's lagging a lot. Ah! Balls. I'm gonna do it every time, like, fuck. Thank you. Oh, well, that's out of the way. Let's continue on. Ugh, oh, more explosions. Really? These explosions are really slowing my frame rate down. Yeah, you fall. Shit. Fuck off. Wow. I think we're gonna... Okay. No more? Thank you. Now there's some Spatolas up here that we have to kill, or else they're just gonna get in the way of us climbing up it. So we'll go ahead and take those out, and now it's night time. The beast comes out at night. Be warned. And... Oh! Well, that's convenient. Sweet! Okay, we're almost re fully replenished. And there's one more Spatola up there. And now we have a safe way to go up now. So let's continue climbing, shall we? I really wish Link would climb this thing a little bit faster. It'd be more convenient for us and you guys, the audience. And once we get up top, there's the owl. Um, we don't have to talk to him. In there is the inside crate, but I think we're going to go in there quickly, because there's a Skatoa and a crate that we're going to get. And if you go in, you'll notice it's Death Mountain C Crater. Crater, yeah. Totally. I cannot speak English for life. Link, it's so hot, we can't stay in here for long. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we can only stay in here for 44 seconds. But, Skatoa there. And their token. I believe this is the heart piece we can get in here, but these hearts. Nothing much we can really do right now. Um There's a piece of heart right there. I know there's two. Um Yep. Climb down here. Hopefully I have enough time to do it. Hopefully I'm climbing in the right area. Okay, perfect. And there's another piece of heart that we're gonna grab. Don't worry, you won't die here. I really don't care. I just want the piece of heart. That, we've collected five so far, so... Yeah, I'm just gonna let the timer run out. Oh, it actually kills us? Shit. My bad. And the timer restarts, but we're 48 seconds. Wow. 
Okay, well, that, well that's our first death, but you really can see what the fairy does. So now let's get out of here. Okay. You have no more distance. Oh. Try blowing up this rock. Don't think I can blow it up with a bomb, though. Um, yes I can, apparently. Okay. Collect, collect the stuff. Let's go down the hole. I don't know what's in this hole. There's like a treasure chest. And... A fish, apparently. Well, we're gonna get this fish for later on. So I guess there's a reason to come down here and... A chest. Has more bombs for us. Helpful. Okay. Guess there was a reason to come here. Well, I'll show you. I'll, we need a fish for later on anyway, so I guess it was necessary to come down here. Okay, now we have no more business in the crater for now because we can't really stay here. We'll have to come here later on in the game, but that's not for a while. So we have no more business to take care of here, so let's just head out the mountain. And the owl is stalking us. So, let's go here, blow up that wall. Do 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 do. And we go in. And we arrive at one of the four great fairy fountains. So, once you get on here, and I don't have my ocarina set. Great. Um, you don't need an empty bottle. When you go on here, you play Zelda's lullaby. Again, have I mentioned how peaceful this song is? Doing that, we summon a hooker! Oh no, it's a great fairy with perky tits. <coughs> and Link's all in, like, dumbstruck. So yeah. <laughs> Welcome, Link. I am the great fairy of power. I'm going to grant you a sword technique. Receive it now. So this is our first upgrade of the game. And yeah. Clever clever shot. Now, what she does is she grants us power. We get fully replenished every time we come to a fountain. And as a bonus And I'm getting a little disc space. Uh we get a, we get the, la la la, we mastered the secret sword technique of the spin attack. Cause uh, hold B to charge your weapon, release it, release B to release a wave of, unleash a wave of energy with your spin. If you want to release the energy without charging your weapon, just rotate once and press B for a very effective quick spin. When you charge power for a spin attack, your magic power will be consumed. Pay attention to your green magic meter. Yeah, so we get magic now, which is kind of helpful. Hey boy, you're a messenger of the royal family, aren't you? Next time you're in the, their neighborhood, you should drop in on a friend of mine who lives by Hyrule Castle. She'll surely grant you another new power. The battle is made very come please come back to see me. And she disappears into the fountain. So yeah. There's our green magic bar. Um, I'll show off the attack now. You charge it. You got blue aura. Blue aura. But if you hold it for longer. It's black. Sorry, it's orange. There we go. There we go. Okay. I wanted to do the rotate, but... Okay, no, wait, wait. Okay, I'm done fucking around. Okay, let's just go. I won't be using the... The spin attack, I won't really be using much. And now the owl... Well, we could talk to the owl, but we're not. So, let's just... Because the owl will take us back to town, but we you don't want to do that just yet. And we take a whole heart of damage. Whole hearty. And now it's daytime. And the volcano is 
going down my frame flame ah, frame rate I can't talk stupid rock it's using rock slide or rock fill or whatever great more damage more damage Erupting, apparently. Okay, well once you're done that, jump off this cliff. And we're gonna head back towards the city for a quick for a pit stop. I believe. Yeah. If you want you can blow up that wall for 50 rupees in a chest, but we're not gonna be doing that. So but we are going to head back into the city. Because we have something important to do. Well, not really important, but we have another fucking, um, we can go get that heart piece from that stupid pillar. Why is that gone on? Right there. Okay, so, instead of the sign that you get a reward for stopping this guy, so what you want to do is, you want to stop him. You can stop him, but I recommend stopping him right about in here where he's stuck. I believe I did it wrong. I'm not quite sure. Um, talk to him. Alright, I'll give you this in praise of your courage. And we get... We get a big bomb bag, which is an upgrade. Maximum of 30 bombs. Alright, sweet. Okay, now that's out of the way. He's just gonna keep on rolling and now he's talking to us, but I really don't care. So, now that we have b more bombs, we can take more shots at this freaking roulette. Um, I'm gonna let that blow up, because I fucked that. Okay, apparently I opened the shop down there. Yes, down there is the door to the shop. Now, we're going to try for the roulette wheel. You need that smiley face one. That one. That one, yeah. I believe it gives us a blue ruby, a red ruby, and a heart. And we got bombs, apparently, but we don't need bombs. So we're just going to wait for it to start spinning again. Hopefully it doesn't take this take too long. Oh yeah, it's gonna start spinning again. I missed. Spin, you spin me right round. Like a record baby. Right round, round, round. Yeah, I had to do that. Awesome! We got it. Okay, I don't need to cut this out. Go down here and collect a piece of heart. We have two now, so it's a total of six. So, yeah, that opens Death's shop, but we don't need to go in there. So, let's just continue on. And now we can go back to town, make our way back to town, but... Um, there's a wall that I still want to blow up which is on the next level. Which I will go over here. Oh wait! This leads back to, um... The Lost Woods. But since it's there, I'm gonna blow that up now. The shortcut back to the Kokiri Forest, so if you ever you go back there in a hurry, you can go that way. So yeah. Frame rate is still shit, although it's not too bad. Go up here. Yeah, there's see how there's bombs here. There's another wall behind me. I wanna blow that up and see what's behind there. Hopefully it's something useful. And then there's a side quest that we'll be able to, we can do later on and I don't know how to completely do it, so I'm gonna have to read the walkthrough a few times to fully understand it. Another wall, really? Yeah, okay, let's talk to this giant-ass Goron. 
I'm working on something really cool right now, but I think it's going to take a while. If you can wait five or six years, it should be ready, okay? So yeah! No, we won't be playing this game for five to six years. No, that doesn't work like that. So, just... Um... I believe there was a stairwell heading up on the other side. Yes, there was. Okay. Now we can head back to town. Ruby! Okay, enough of that. If I might cut this out. Because it takes a bit to get back to town. And there's a pillar there that we can get after. Heading on out. Back on the trail. We're gonna take a shortcut. Because I don't feel like going all the way down the mountain. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. Yeah, no. Okay, so jump right off of here. Life's not worth living! Living. Life's not worth living, and we take no damage. And you're gonna jump on us. Yeah, there's more tech-ites. tech, tech just spawn. This is annoying. Look, we get more bombs. And we'll jump attack this one. Perfect. Okay, so now that we have bombs, we can blow up this wall. And hiding behind it is the Skotala. And for some reason, we can climb this wall. I don't see anything to grab on. So yeah. Now that we have 11 tokens, I think. Yeah, there's the map, um, current map, there's the market, there's Hyrule Field, Death Mound, Kakariko, and Lost Woods. We have 12 now, we have, yeah. Okay, so, going over, go ahead back to town. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry about that. Now that we're back in town... Um, he's still wearing the mask, apparently. Oh, yeah. He has to give, he has to, he has to, we gotta go to the happy mask season. And lose 10 rupees. There was, oh, yeah. I was gonna say, there was something I wanted to show, but now I remember. So, going over here. Now we're gonna, now I'm going to explain why just the toilet tokens are necessary. Going into this house here. House is Katoa. If you go down go here. Oh my god, it's a spider with a deformed face. Anyway, it's good. We look like this because of the spider's curse. But since you've destroyed twelve spiders of their curse, the curse is starting to weaken. If the kids who return to normal give you any rewards, you should yeah. Yeah, anyways. Believe it. No. Yeah, here's serious. Talk to him, and the curse has been broken. Thank you. Here's a reward for you, and we get a wallet upgrade. Now we can hold up the notebook. Wallets are allowed to carry a lot of money. Now you're able to hold up to 200 rupees. Awesome. Now, if you want, you can go back to Death Mountain Trail and get those 50 rupees I mentioned that behind a wall that you can blow up. But that's out of our way, and I'll not. I don't really need much rupees right now, so. So yeah, got nothing left to do here for now, so let's just head out, head on out. Back to the castle. Oh, our castle we don't have to go to right now, but I think we're going to. Because, like the great fairy of power said, there's a friend, she has a friend that's near the castle. Subsequently, we can go get another power up. I believe there's a hole that you can get by blowing up a tree. Blowing, I believe there's a hole around here. 
gonna see the gander that's right there. I mean, wow, I totally called that right. I was gonna say the game made a liar out of me, but never mind. Go down here and. There's a Skatoa, but we can't reach that right now, so. No, we can't reach that. We'll have to come back to that later when we get a new item. Actually, yeah, we will come back and get that later, but for now, in the hole just up here. And I'll have to blow it up again. Anyways, moving along. And as you can tell, the sky is starting to get a little dark, so we should hurry on out. And if it's nighttime, the gate closes, and we gotta wait a whole day to fucking get back into town. Sucks, I know, but... Can I jump across this? Make it easier? Yes, we can. Perfect. Speed running tactics! No, not really. It's still daytime, apparently. That means my frame rate is gonna go AWOL on us. But for now, I think I'm gonna grab more rubies! While I'm in here. Since we can carry more than- we can carry up to 200 now, which is very helpful. Hey, look, a blue ruby. Helpful. So yeah, sorry about not having comments very much. Don't know what to talk about. So any of you guys have tried this in the, the Wii U that's coming out this fall, I think? Or for Pokemon Black 2 and White 2. I have black and white versions, but black's my main game, so I have like over 300 hours on that. Yeah. Sad I know. But yeah. I'm really excited for Black 2 and White 2 to come out. I'm probably gonna get both, but I'm probably gonna just play Black 2 more than white too. Like, I'll be both games. And, yeah. And, like I said, my frame rate is going like shit. That's the potion shop where you can buy potions. Heading back over to the fucking mask shop. Do 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 do. Now we talk, there's a new mask. Oh great, you sold it. Please pay back 10 rupees for the keep the mask now. Payment received. There, we lost 10 rupees. Um, I'm not gonna do this whole side quest thing. I'll cover it later on. So for now, let's just head over here. There's an archery room and... Some... Interesting... Can we play this mini game? I think it was a little mini game. She's sleeping. Huh? What? Uh-oh. A customer, welcome to our cutting edge amusement center. The bomb to bowling alley. Do you want to know it's 30 games to play? Okay, hopefully we get this right. Oh, here's what you can win. More bombs. Great. Okay, so a couple of rewards you can get with this. Um You can get bomb shoes actually and I met. Okay, so it's just get the bomb shoe in the alley. Into the hole. Get a piece of heart and 50 rupees and more bomb shoes. Now there's obstacles in the way. Still bad check in. No, bitch, get out of the way. All right, perfect. Let's see, we got six more tries for this. Um. Oh wait, street. Perfect. Straight down the middle. Fucking chicken. Yeah, I might cut this. I might cut the head of this. Just because it's annoying. Move, chicken. Don't you dare! Fucking fat ass. So, yeah. Move! Fuck! 
And if you were to try it, 